the first topic we're going to be looking at specifically is Jesus Christ invites all to come unto him. Specifically pertaining to these chapters, where do we see this topic played out? You know, just kind of in a nutshell, we can look at verse 28 of, of uh, chapter 26 of 2 Nephi. Behold, has the Lord commanded any that they should not partake of his goodness? Behold, I say unto you, nay, but all men are privileged, the one like unto the other, and none are forbidden. So it's this really inclusive message mm -hmm. that God sends his love to everybody, and God invites everybody to come to him and be saved. And then maybe most famously in verse 33, it says, He doeth that which is good among the children of men, and he doeth nothing save it be plain unto the children of men. And he inviteth them all to come unto him and partake of his goodness. You know, and he could have just left it there like I invite everybody. But mm -hmm. he gets more specific. And I love this. He denieth none that come unto him. Black and white, bond and free, male and female. And he remembereth the heathen and all are alike unto God, both Jew and Gentile. So the sense here is that God invites everybody regardless of race. Everybody, regardless of gender, everybody, regardless of class, uh, everybody, regardless of, of religion, mm -hmm. whether or not they believe in him, God invites and welcomes everybody. Why? Because we're all his children. That's right. This is the core message of the Book of Mormon. That phrase right there, black, white, bond and free, really struck me. He's welcoming of all people, regardless of who they are. Everyone is welcome. It felt so inclusive to me, and that's you know, where people who come into the church feel that welcoming spirit, I think, is really emphasized in those verses. And it, it really touched me. It's perfect for any people who might be searching for truth or a place to feel like they belong and are welcomed, regardless of their background, anything that's gone on in the past, who they are. They want to be seen as a child of God and seen as welcome. So that scripture was very uh, poignant to me.